You're listening to Tim Bolkley's 5-Minute Bible, recognizing irony in Genesis 3.22. In this post, I'm going to explore a bit why we might think that Genesis 3.22 is ironic. And you'll notice that there are some similar issues here to those I explored with respect to humor in the podcast Signs of Humor, especially in written texts across cultures. Chris Heard at Higayan recently posted a proposal suggesting in divine sarcasm in the Eden story question mark, that we read God's statement in Genesis 3.22 see the man has become like one of us knowing good and evil as sarcasm a sharp put down for the uppity human certainly as Chris argues these words make little sense when read in a straightforward way but for a start it means that the snake has told the truth in verses 4-5 to five which poses some difficulty for the believing reader, especially if the snake is identified as Satan, the father of lies. Chris goes on to cite the 4th century father, Ambrose, as also teaching in this way, and moves on to consider Ambrose's reading. But what are we to make of God's statement? Firstly, we can note that God's statement is a reference back to the serpents in verse 5 and we can note that God says that the human being has become like one of us by implication especially since the serpent used that language like one of the Elohim the divine beings in biblical language like God and the angels see for example the opening of the story of Job for a description of the divine court with God's ministers perceived by later readers as angels back in verse 5 the snake said you will become ke Elohim like Elohim the snake implies that he's using Elohim here to mean God because just earlier he's talked about Elohim clearly meaning God but that needn't be how God understands the expression so in chapter 3 verse 5 the snake offers to Eve the tempting prospect of being like God verse 4 but the serpent said to the woman you will not die for God knows that when you eat of it your eyes will be opened and you will be like God knowing good and evil you see the two uses of God in that verse clearly imply that the snake means God when he says Elohim or at least means Eve to infer that but in verse 22 God clearly is not meaning God when he says Elohim or rather when he says like one of us for the Elohim that means God is not plural apart from Genesis 1.27 which is a case that needs to be discussed separately I think when Elohim means God it is singular so there is irony here the snake to Eve you will become like Elohim that is God knowing good and evil that is knowing everything the whole range from good to evil God in verse 22 they have become like one of us i.e. like members of the Elohim knowing good and evil i.e. capable of acting in good and or evil ways and so of course God goes on to say that in view of this capacity for evil their lifespan must be limited in order to limit their potential for evil there is clearly irony going on here and we don't need to read God's words as sarcastic in order to get that should we read them as sarcastic? well I think Occam's razor applies we take the simplest solution taking the words purely at face value doesn't quite work reading them as sarcastic requires quite an effort of reading reading them as ironic requires little effort and makes good sense of the words that's my conclusion anyway for now bye for now God bless